I think we're in what you could call uh, unique, exciting, interesting times. And what I'm seeing is that there's a way you can achieve success and there's a way you can not achieve success. This applies to any um, situation, any time period, if you like, but specifically now with everything that's going on. Uh, so I thought I'd just give you a, a list of five things you should, in my opinion, stop doing and five things, in my opinion, you should start doing. So here we go. Stop doing these. Number one, stop listening and reading and watching mainstream media. Um, the newspapers, certainly in the UK, my goodness, stop reading them. They're not true. Why does the media exist? And you just have to ask yourself this question. Why does the media exist? Uh, the media exists to make money and the media makes money out of advertising and that they get advertising based on the number of clicks and likes and comments and traffic they get through their websites and buying their stuff. So they're not publishing news they're publishing clickbait and then you look at it and you get all agitated by it and you go and comment on it and that just feeds the advertising base that's why when you look at these things online two-thirds of the page are taken up with adverts so stop looking at mainstream media it's just it's not true and it infects your mind so stop it the, the news will find you don't worry about that Stop worrying about stuff you can't fix. I was you know, chatting to people, and they said, oh, one, one guy was worried about Donald Trump. Well, I actually think we're all worried about Donald Trump, if you know what he's like. But anyway, I can't fix Donald Trump. I'm not going to worry about it. I can't fix the fires in California. I can't fix Brexit. I can't fix what's happening outside of my domain to a certain extent. So stop worrying about it. The news will find you, situations will look after themselves, and if you hear sirens on the high street, that's when you should start to worry. Apart from that, just plow on with life, you're going to be okay. Don't participate in the frenzy. Number three, don't participate in the frenzy. These stories, they sort of, they elevate as they go along, and I, I, I do see them, I just don't participate in them. But, you know, whether it's anti-vaccines or the Australians getting agitated about what's happening down in, in Victoria or the fact they've got some, you know, the ex-Prime uh, Minister of Australia is now working for the British government. And, oh, my goodness, don't get caught up in the frenzy. It's, it's like a, a conveyor belt of hate and fear. So just jump off it. Don't participate. Number four. Four, not five. Four. Stop participating. Stop, sorry, stop tolerating stuff that you don't want. When you go into a restaurant, when we're allowed to go into restaurants, and then you ask for a, a Coke, what happens sometimes? They go, yeah, I haven't got Coke. Is Pepsi okay? And we go, yeah, it'll be all right. That's not okay. I don't want Pepsi. I want Coke. Stop tolerating stuff. When you ask for something or you want something or you decide to go for something, don't tolerate Pepsi. I mean, if you want Pepsi and they've got a Coke, the same thing applies. Nothing against Pepsi, but... Don't tolerate what you shouldn't. Stop putting up with stuff you don't want. This could be people, situations, a job, a business, a client. It could be a location, anything. Whatever it is you're tolerating, stop being so tolerant. It's like being the, the frog's being boiled in milk. And number five, five, stop procrastinating. Stop thinking, stop worrying, stop fretting, stop planning. Stop drawing visuals out there. Get on with it. Do something about it. So many people sat there waiting for things to happen and they're just hoping that the phone will ring it's not going to ring they're not coming you've got to go make it yourself stop thinking stop planning stop delaying stop putting it off and start getting on with stuff so stop procrastinating those are five things you should stop five things i i think you should start to do one is build your own vision what do you want when you go into a restaurant and you sit down and the waiter says to you, what would you like? And you've got the menu. You don't say, well, I don't want this and I don't want that and I don't like garlic and I don't like fish. Because it doesn't help, does it? You need to know what you do want. What do you want? What are you looking for? What's the goal? What's the vision? What's the dream? And on the other side, with all the other stuff going on, so many people are now worried so much about what they don't want. They forget about what they do want. So figure out what do you want, build your vision, build your dream. Then, in business and personally, professionally, develop an offer. If you want to get that best job, you want to get some new business running, you want to increase your revenues or your sales or whatever it is, build a fabulous offer. Why would anybody hire you? What's the thing they're going to hire you for? Because there's thousands of people out there looking for work. There's thousands of people out there starting a business. Thousands of people trying to make their way through this. What makes you unique and special? Why would I hire you? Why would you hire me? What's the offer? What's the thing that's going to make you different and stand out from the crowd? Then create your brand, like a personal brand. Um, what do you stand for? What are your values? What do you comment on? What don't you comment on? What do you like? What don't you like? Who do you hang out with? What are your values? What's your what's your brand? What people? What can people recognize you for? And then you've got to circulate it. Make sure people know who you are. Then you're going to create your network. 
of people. Now, it's, it's interesting. The people that I actually, hang out with, if you like, uh, are all doing all these things. They're all their clients and colleagues and friends and family. And I only sort of hang out with people who are thinking in terms of can do this, future vision, let's get on with it, let's make it happen. Because I'm lucky enough to be a, to attract them and I'm lucky enough to be in their, in their circles. So all the people I hang out with and mix with are forward-thinking, bright, positive, enthusiastic people. It's strange that. So create your network. Don't hang out with people you don't want. Look at the people you you look at the person you're married to. Look at the person in your family. Look at the people in your office. Look at the people you're mixing with. Are they doing all the things you should stop doing and worrying and fretting and worrying about all sorts of stuff? Or are they forward thinking and focused? This is the gang you need to be hanging out with. So build your network. And finally, number five on what you should start doing, start taking the risk of being happy. Start taking the risk of doing something different, whether you need to resign from your job, start the business, go for an uplift, go for a promotion, create something new, buy the new house, move territories, go and live somewhere different. Do it, just crack on with it. This goes back to point five last time around of procrastinating. Stop procrastinating, take the risk. We, we, we bought a house, for those who are following us, we bought a house blind, it was, it was online, we, we did see it, but didn't look at it if you like. And we bought it during lockdown and it's a renovation a cottage, uh, farm buildings up in the, the northeast of France. And now we're spending the weekends renovating it. Everybody told me that was ridiculous. You don't buy a house on lockdown. Couldn't even go and look at the place. We were locked down. Couldn't go and visit it. That's ridiculous. That's crazy. That's insane. You must be an idiot. Yeah, but in, your, in their world, I am. Good. I don't fit in their world. Go and do something that... Take the risk of doing something crazy. Don't... You haven't got to bet the farm on it. Just do something. Take the risk of being happy. Take the risk of making a change. Take the risk of upsetting a few people, take the risk of moving away, take the risk of building your dream and doing what you want. So those are my 10 key points that in my opinion may help you. Five things to stop doing and five things to start doing. And remember, hang out with the right crowd. So hope that was uh, interesting, helpful. Find out more information about what we do, results, resultsrulesok.com. And you can email me, David Holland, at resultsrulesok.com as well. If you want to have a chat about what we do, business coaching, executive coaching and training, love to hear from you. Have a coffee, a Zoom coffee, and uh, see what we can do together. Look forward to hearing from you. In the meantime, have a great week, have a great day, and I look forward to updates and comments. Bye for now.